countries? We don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. Okay, well, uh, so uh, I just wanted to say a few words. I wanted to welcome. Uh, this is a uh, fall retreat here at Cernier Ridge, uh, Virginia, uh, Lingmichia's uh, main retreat center. And I wanted to welcome all the participants, all the practitioners around the world, our Sangha members, and all the friends. You all are welcome. Here we also behind, we have all a wonderful crowd here. Uh, this retreat, fall retreat, and Apollo uh, Tilenimarambuche is here from uh, Mary Monastery. He's the head teacher of the Mary Monastery, so he's been traveling in in the U.S. and uh, in Europe, and uh, he will be here this week and uh, next week. He will be going in Mexico, and those of you are in Mexico, so you know he's coming <laughs> 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 next Tuesday. And those of you are in Europe, and he will be also coming to Europe, so you can, uh, you know, check his schedules. Um, so, so we're going to start uh, this afternoon session uh, with the practice. Uh, I will guide the practice. And then after the practice, and Pono uh, Tilenyi Maramuchi is going to explain uh, the practice a little bit, and, and it's a continuation of uh, wonderful teachings that we've been giving this morning, so we'll continue from there. And then we'll have, a, in the end, we'll have a, a little time for some questions and answers to everybody, uh, particularly uh, around the world, Sangha around the world. So we'll do the nine breathing or purification. So those you don't know nine breathing or purification, uh, just imagine and feel the presence of three channels in the center of your body. A blue channel below the navel goes straight up, opens in the crown. White channel at the right side, red channel on the left side. These two side channels are go up side by side and connected to two nostrils. Just for a moment. Feel the presence of three channels. We press our right ring finger and gently press our right nostril. Breathe in from left, all the way down, and then press left nostril, breathe out from the right. Three times, imagine all your anger and its related emotions, pain, confusion, blockages, feel, release that, repeat three times.
press your left ring finger, left nostril, breathe in from right, and then exhale from the left. And release, just as you breathe out, just imagine, feel the old attachment, its related emotion, blockages. You release it three times. Now breathe in from both nostrils. The breath goes down through the side channels and it arrives at the junction. And as you begin to breathe out, the energy moves up through the central channel, clears the central channel. Imagine in your ignorance, doubt, or self doubt, blockages in the central channel. Just imagine all clears three times. Just be aware all the three channels are more open, more clear. That means a central of your body, there's a more sense of openness. Just for a moment, be aware of that. From that openness, we sing Guru Yoga.
inward be aware of the stillness of your body connect with that stillness rest in that stillness continuously when you are aware the connection is lost reconnect continue there's a big differences between just being still and being aware of that stillness the moment you are you are stop being aware of that stillness it stop supporting your mind to ground the moment you are aware of that stillness it continues is helping the mind to settle just continue connect in that stillness gradually be aware of inner stillness the stillness beyond physical body the stillness of your being who you are gradually let go of this focus on the stillness in your body and be aware of that open stillness
in that inner stillness, this is unbounded sacred space. We take refuge in this body of emptiness. We take refuge in this body of unbounded space. Feel the sense of refuge internally. You are encountering the Buddha within. Just be aware that you are not alone. All the people around the world as we're practicing together, sharing that unbounded sacred space, we are connected. Feel that same space oneness Second refuge. Be aware of inner silence. Be aware of that collective silence. If it is hard to be aware of the silence, then listen to the silence. Hear the silence. Feel the silence. Rest and connect with that silence.
as you're aware of more silence, less thoughts are there. As there's less thought, the more presence of awareness, a sense of feeling full, complete, clear now and here, knowing, sense of worth, worthiness, sense of perfectness, take refuge in this body of light, that awareness is the inner light. The less the noises are there, the more the silence is there, the more silence is there, more awareness is there. Resting in that stillness, being aware of unbounded space. Resting in that silence, being aware of that awareness, the luminosity, the light. In the union of that space and awareness, there is a presence of warmth, bliss. take refuge in this body of great bliss. It's referring to that genuine warmth.
rest in that warmth, rest in that space, rest in that light, like a child resting in the loving arms of mother. You don't have to imagine only your mother, if you don't have that relationship, you can imagine mother who do have that kindness. You are that child. That inner sacred space is that mother. Rest fully with trust. Trust to that mother, trust to that inner refuge, trust to that unbounded sacred space, trust to that unbounded sacred space or the body of emptiness. Through that trust, through that connection, feel the nourishment feel the protection, feel the love, feel the joy, equanimity, compassion, confidence, or whatever quality it's needed this moment in your life to you to clear obstacles, find solutions, guidance, your spiritual development. Trust that particular quality will merge in this connection through this trust. Just for a moment, rest like the child allow to nourish yourself Gradually bring awareness into your body and particularly place where you don't feel or you feel pain, blockages, sickness, right in the center of that pain. Bring that sacred space, the awareness of the space
to eliminate blockages and obstacles. Bring that sacred awareness, the light, to heal. Bring that warmth to heal. So this inner quality of refuge bring right in the center of that pain. Allow this quality or these experiences to expand and work within that territory so gradually you will feel the effect of it pain dissolving going away feeling okay not being bothered strengthening this continuously go right in the center there and be aware of the space the light and the warmth Oh, so I'm going to translate. So, yeah, so maybe I think, uh, yeah, so I'll just keep it here. Okay, so maybe we just can go back there. So all the people who are attending uh, this webcast, who are looking at us, who are listening at us, and all the people behind this little camera sitting here, welcome everybody. Um, so, as uh, there's a lot of people who are curious and interested in the Dzogchen teaching. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Generally, Dzogchen, the purpose of Dzogchen teaching is to achieve uh, full liberation or enlightenment, um, but also these great teaching help uh, in our ordinary life uh, to benefit, to help each other, also help each other. <coughs> So a practitioner uh, generally um, has a look forward to achieving rainbow body through this practice. <laughs> And, uh, but also, I will speak a little bit about uh, what its benefit in, in a very simple way in our life. Uh, so in the teaching uh, talks about like uh, whatever you're hearing is it's being empty whatever you are um, uh, feeling is empty whatever you are uh, seeing it's empty whatever you are thinking it's empty Mm. <laughs> so uh, when the teaching, when we are teaching, you have to listen to it. It's not just think about it, it's empty. <laughs> so, so it's important to practice, to hear it and practice. Uh, uh, for, for practical examples, like if somebody said something uh, mean or, or hurtful, uh, so then uh, you, you listen listening to that voice and trying to uh, look at as a empty empty so just he, that voice itself is empty the hearing itself is empty and bringing some sense of spaciousness uh, some sense of quality in that hearing then it can it will help you uh, but if you not hear that if you elaborate what you're hearing and if you elaborate with what all the things, your own personal things on it, then it gets worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So uh, many experiences in our life, many people 
uh, if we were getting divorce uh, because and, and also many families also are getting um, like very distance from each other family members and couples getting distance from each other so all these things very often happens with very simple uh, uh, words of communication very simple words of communication with a lot of elaboration. I'm sorry to love to wear that. That is the place. So, if when, uh, when you are not able to truly experience the emptiness of the speech, but at least feeling some space and able to apologize will also, the having a strength to apologize, it's also a great healing. So, so from very simple um, a lack of communication or a few words and a lot of elaboration and, and in long enough time then it becomes like a fire and the water so then there's explosion, separation, divorces. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so in those situations, like from uh, from the point of view of sutra, trying to see everything is like empty. From the point of view of tantra, to see everything is like illusion, illusory. And from the Dzogchen, to see everything else as a self-liberation, uh, allowing uh, more giving, allowing and giving more space to what is happening. And th- so these are different ways in which a transformation can take place. Mm-hmm. So then, if you're able to remain in that space, there's a naturally more uh, qualities, like a positive quality arises. The more you become more familiar with those positive quality, whatever the sound is there or voices are there, uh, they, they dissipate because they don't have any more power to continue. So, it, uh, like a hearing, uh, like a wind blowing in the backside of your ear, so you hear this sound, and uh, you would not be, you know, nobody listens to it. 
and talks to it or you know argue with it. You just it's just a sound. Just you leave it and you hear it. It goes away. Same way, but whatever you hear in uh, some time, so it's good to you know not to follow and elaborate so much, to giving more space to it. Then it dissolves by itself. It's called self liberation. Yeah. So. Is this sense of that uh, tong means like a sound, uh, sound empty, feeling empty, thought empty. These are that's how it comes. So change our the so the cause of the so the so the 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 so quality the quality that's it. Then the so the main purpose of Zosei is to overcome these our samsaric sufferings, the everyday sufferings. Mm-hmm. So when you are sitting in a nice cushion in a nice comfortable place and you feel like you have some experience, some realization and when you walk into the everyday life if you don't feel no shift, no change, your behavior, reaction is the same, that means the cushion did not help very much. <laughs> so, so the main purpose is to really try to change the mind. So it's not just uh, empty, uh, but there is there's a fullness in that space, like a sky, which is not just empty. There is a star, there is a sun, there is a moon. There's all the beauty of the nature. The same way that in our in the inner space there is a joy, there's a love, there's a compassion, there's a equanimity, there's all these qualities are present there. It's important to recognize that in that space. Mm-hmm. So these experiences are called like a unification of the appearances and emptiness or emptiness and wisdom because the space is referring to a wisdom, the qualities which are pres- present there, they are referring as appearance. So it's a union of space, emptiness and appearances or union of emptiness and wisdom. Uh, it's like a, a bird uh, able to, not able to fly without two wings, not, cannot fly with only one wing. So it's like a, the appearance and emptiness both are important uh, to understand, impo- important to understand both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
そうそうそう味覚でな全部人参こんばいなさこう犬の師匠ね。そうあん。あざらんだ。うん。Uh, um, oh, yeah. so, so the, in the in,、uh, Mahayana, in,、uh, so、it talks about、uh, the union of compassion and wisdom. So it basically means that、uh, compassion, which spontaneously arises from that space or from that wisdom, so, but also in an ordinary sense, in our own ordinary life, w e r e just ordinary people. When you feel more space, there is more qualities like a feeling of compassion, kindness toward other people. So, so it's, it's in a way, in a higher philosophically or in a very ordinary experience, they're very, very connected to each other. So, t h、uh, e b a s h i r a p said that、uh, the power of compassion will tame the enemy.、Uh, so, that, that means that the, when, when you feel compassion or when you feel kindness towards somebody, Uh, that is most effective, that, that it turns、uh, the, the other people toward you. And, uh, you know, so, so、um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the sense of the wisdom and compassion being union is how or why somebody would ever turn with attitude, with kindness towards somebody because of not only they have a compassion, because they have a wisdom, because they have a space, because they have an openness. Therefore, they are able to have the infinite sense of compassion toward even people who, who, who are being hurting them or willing to hurt themselves, hurting them or something like that. So that space,、uh, wisdom plays an important role. t h e b a s h i r a p he was always challenged by the demon Chapa. And so when t h e b a s h i r a p was、uh, resting in, in his wisdom and in his compassion, so that compassion was very,、uh, very attractive for demons. So, Demon was moved by the compassion of Tambashyana and, and bow and respect Tambashyana and then began to follow Tambashyana because of the power of compassion. Mm. So, so, the union of compassion and wisdom is very important. So, not only fell into sitting in a emptiness to have the experiences of compassion. Uh, that's very important in these teachings.
So the power of wisdom uh, is like uh, when, for example, when you feel like a, a strong anger, and if you power of wisdom is when you look inward and observe non-conceptually to to that to the anger, the anger dissolves like ice when ice is hit by the sun. So it will dissolve. Mm-hmm. So again, once again, is the when when one feel anger and whatever caused the anger, and not you know to elaborate so much because the anger is very much part of yourself. It's in you. It's yours. Uh, it doesn't matter what it caused, who it caused. Uh, it's very much part of your and that particular in the practice particularly. Uh, instead of using conceptual mind to analyze it, use non-conceptual mind to observe it. And that ob- observation is the most powerful mean in the teaching of Dzogchen. Mm. <laughs> So either the Sutra, Tantra or Dzogchen, in the end, all the teachings, the true purpose of all the teaching is to to free from three poisons, the ignorance, anger and attachment, and to 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 benefit to have more compassion and benefit each other. So that's the purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, ての人間ちゃんとの so any emotion, any pain, so if you're able to rest when it's happening, when you're able to rest in that awareness, all of them will dissolve. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so even though during the practice you can see a lot of thoughts, feelings and emotions are coming, but you can see they are coming, you allow them to come, but if you still continuously trying to maintain the stability in that inner space, then gradually you will see these appearance have not so much power and uh, they will just begin to become more weaker and weaker and weaker and your sense of presence and that awareness becoming stronger and stronger. So, 
So, if, uh, while being in that awareness, if you reciting the mantra, singing prayer, doing prostration, uh, whatever you're doing, so there it's like a we call like a, it's like a CC means it's integrated with the Dzogchen practices. Like Purnamacha uh, was saying this morning about the mother who lost the child, able to walk, sing, walk, walk talk, eat, but in that feeling it's still strong presence. So it's like integrating with that awareness uh, your conventional form of practices. Mm-hmm. <coughs> So, as it is a very profound teaching, it's also important to feel a sense of uh, trust, devotion, connection to these teachings. So when you do have a sense of trust and devotion, then your eyes are more open to see the qualities what this teaching has to offer. But when you don't have that sense of trust and devotion, then you might not be able to see all the qualities I perfected here. It's like uh, if you are in love with somebody or if you, you are looking at your child and then if you see the, your child or person you are in love with, you see the way this person walks, talks, thinks, eats, everything looks great. <laughs> and if you don't like somebody, you are a famous person. <laughs> and the way your famous person is terrible, the way person famous person walk is terrible, the way your famous person sits is terrible. So everything is terrible. <laughs> So even your famous person just gently smiles, you look at a criticism. <laughs> So that does not mean that you don't use your intellect analysis uh, trying to test uh, what you're getting into. Uh, so if you do those things, but once you feel you understand enough, you know what you're doing, then in the pro- during the practice, then you have to stop doing those things. So, Dabashyarab says that, you know, like a, a gold, good goldsmith te- testing the quality of gold, like a, you burn it, you put it in the water, you look at the color. Same way you can do the analysis uh, as much as you need to do, but once you feel it's trustworthy, 
you feel this is what you wanted to do, then you are on, uh, you know, how you say, uh, neuros neurotic uh, mind should not influence the change of mind. I said, I, I, I found it, now, now I'm going to stick with it. So some ability, the strength to stick with it, it's important. Like a devotion, so for necessary devotion is sometimes, for example, like a feet to walk, eye to see, and no hand to do, uh, hold, do. And mm -hmm. So it's like uh, not having a hand, uh, not having devotion is not having a hand if there is something a uh, nice chocolate or ice cream or something like that on uh, on the on, on your lap or on the table uh, you cannot uh, get it because you don't have the hand to get it so same way so devotion is even there is qualities in the teaching but they you need to have a devotion to receive them so uh, devotion is also like the eyes, so if you don't have devotion, then you will not see the qualities in the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you don't see the, the benefit of the view or meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, so it says, uh, if, uh, if you're doing anything with the devotion, you mm -hmm. accomplish everything without any efforts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So in my experiences, when in the monastery we grew up, and down in the valley, there's a little small river in the summer when it's very, very hot. We used to go down to swim there because but to get there, it's like a more than a half, uh, half mile. It's quite a long way to get down there and come back, but I, we don't feel any effort to go down there because we'd love to <laughs> jump into the water. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> So, any uh, things that I'm saying here, if there's any uh, questions uh, all of you have, here and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the space beings. <laughs> yes. The good side of the anger. Yeah. Okay. Well, and the boundaries. Know. Yeah. Okay. So the question is that uh, um, that it, let's say anger is it's important to get rid of anger and it has negative impact, but also anger has the positive side 
knows what not to do or right uh, the 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 boundaries that you realize through your anger so you wanted to hear a little bit more that side of the anger and how you know how, how you know okay the 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 kongro do jena ta jam jam michi ki dung dung na dung na ani michi ki michi la tola na jam khota la Anger thing, Kondo the young, pay a talk or what I'm that, or Mittal Doji Mare, Mitty Duk Jadus, Doji Mare, some some che, and you turn your just Meset on the Namdam the Pemachol, the Uris, and the Kandis Hakoris, the Kondo the Pentor, the Namdam Pentoris. That Kondo the Pena Tila San Jota, Major News, got the young Jita, and not the Luna, and you shed down the more shed down Hashim was. え、じゃあ、マジャルコンパセ。ディレクション。え、サンジョウに、マジャルサンジョウに、シェタン。で、単純にね、そう、で、ペンバタン、ノバカイシュクシェト。え、シェタンで、ケバイナ、ペンバ
So, um, not to think only, uh, you know, the causes for getting sick has something to do with the only this life, lifestyle of this life. But there is beyond that, there's a many, many other lives where, you know, there are all these karmic traces are there, so uh, karmic depths we owe toward somebody, so it's kind of coming toward us. So just feeling that, okay, this is my uh, karmic purification. So this is, I'm, I'm purifying something, I'm clearing something, uh, I'm getting rid of something. So seeing that way, then, then you don't feel like uh, ang angry so much because you understand cause is something a little bit more than what usually people get angry about, you know. Mm. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
light light arises so that you you're trying to set your mood in prayer say may i be you know be benefit to others may i be joyful may i be peaceful so some sense of setting up some positive attitude toward the day uh, like the light light of the sun in the morning so that's the good attitude because then that will affect your rest of your day and same way but then if you if you haven't asked the question yet if you do ask the question uh, how do you go to sleep with what kind of <laughs> so so what the way you go to sleep will be you know all the things what did what my plan was the good to do good but some of plan did not work exactly so something did not went wrong but okay may i you know purify them may i let go of them may i you know clear them some sense of uh, good goodbye before you go to sleep in the night that's a good attitude we're going to sleep okay yeah Tene kalau <laughs> lega, lega pena la. Mana cecah? Okay, oh sorry. So the question is the you know like sometimes bad actions like to uh, to let go of somebody how you, how you would do it uh, even the, even something has to be done so the how you do it in, in a way in the better way right yeah. The lega lega na na mitung gue na. That's very difficult. So, so enough uh, uh, communication, clarification, reason why that's supposed to happen. If there's enough communication there, and in a com- enough communication, in a sense that the other person will somehow understand as much as possible to understand, that might help. Okay, one last one. Yes. Okay. Um, someone is asking, um, what do, uh, it's regarding devotion. Uh, what, what do I do if my root lama, for which for whom I have much devotion, has died? So. So um, the thing is, okay. so uh, the question is that uh, um, devotion to the master. So if my root root master has just died, so the question is, so what to do? Ah, uh, so first of all, I mean, devotion has nothing to do with being alive or dead, right? So that I think. It's very important to understand, you know, in a way, sometimes it's easier to maintain devotion when the Lama is dead. So I think uh, uh, who's asking the question? <laughs> okay, it's anyway. So whoever is asking the question, I think you're a very lucky person. You managed to have that much devotion to your master, and trying to still trying to have a devotion 
and the moment you passed away, now you succeeded. You know, you, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that's all. <clears throat> so, uh, any, Paul, any uh, announcements you want to make? The next. Okay, so, so, um, yeah, so I think uh, we, we're going to conclude. We'll do the dedication here and, uh, uh, I wanted to thank very much uh, the, all the translators. I know like uh, you are volunteering your time and I know that uh, all your uh, effort, how much beneficial it is, all, everybody who is hearing, hearing in that language, you can just see uh, that all these people are very thankful of your uh, translation and I uh, appreciate it and I, I personally on behalf of all those people we appreciate each one of you who are doing the translation and, uh, and as we all know that you know it seems like a, there are moments I get very excited about this internet thing and then there are moments I get slow like everything you know like everything else in life but I still feel that this is the future this is the way this is the future and we need to keep more connection with each other through this means, through this uh, space, through the cyber space, with cyber sangha. <laughs> yeah. Um, on December 14, that is the next full day uh, live webcast. Here. So December 14th, uh, it will be full day live uh, live webcast. They can go to, all of you can go to ligmicha.org and uh, I, if it's very beneficial to each one of you who are listening to, listening to this teaching this very moment, I am sure you know many other of your friends will, you friends that you know who will very much benefit from this, then I think it's your, your a little step of, uh, how you say, action to take to let those people know so that is each of you can do that part of your part of work or everybody who's listening to do that step to help your friends and, uh, and help us to reach more to be benefit more people so I would like every individual who's listening to take little uh, support here to support us and support your friends to let them know so we look forward to seeing you that time thank you
confidence in three refugees. May my experience in the realization of the world and purifying three poison, may I obtain three bodies. In liberating my own being, may I benefit others. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody in space. Thank <laughs> you.